This will be a tutorial on how to build a simple chat application using Node.js, uh, particularly the socket.io uh, model that we're going to download through npm. So here's uh, here's what we built. Like I say, it's very simple, and I'll leave it to you to style it and uh, get your usernames or whatever you want to use in there. So. The first thing we're going to do is create a new folder on your desktop. So I called mine chat. And then you're going to go into your terminal and you're going to, so suppose we had a blank slate, we're going to cd into our directory and we're going to say npm init. It's going to give you. Uh, it's going to ask you some questions. Is this name okay? You just press enter. Is this uh, version number okay? Just press enter all the way through. It'll ask you like five questions like that, author name and so on. So at the end of npm init, inside of this chat directory, the folder that you built, you're going to find package.json. This will be a file that's been sort of built for you. It's going to have, like it's going to have asked you for the name, version, all this stuff. Index js will be your entry point okay so these are going to be our dependencies we're going to use we're going to have three dependencies one's express one's egs one socket.io so the next thing you're going to do is uh, in your terminal while you're still uh, in this chat directory you're going to say npm install express save and this save command at the end with the two hyphens in front is going to save it to your package.json so express npm install socket.io save and that's going to run and then you're going to do ejs save so that's how you're going to install the three modules we're going to use by the way you have to have node installed which comes with npm and the way you install that is just you go node in google and it's like nodejs.org or something and you just download it from the website um, so then you'll have your three dependencies here. So like like it says here, our entry point is index.js. So what you're gonna do is this will this will be blank at this point. I've gone ahead and built the little program already, but so you're gonna have package.json only inside of your chat directory. Next you're gonna create a new file called index.js. Okay. Now here's how we're going to configure uh, express which is basically we're setting up our back end here, our server side. Index.js is going to have our server side code. So we're going to say var express equals require express. We're requiring the express framework. Uh, app is going to be uh, a call to express. Server is require http.create server. And we're going to pass it this app. And then this is how we're going to integrate uh, socket.io is with this line. Now, uh, we're going to use var path equals require path. Um, this is a uh, module that's included with Node, so we don't have to npm install it. What this part's going to do, this part was setting up your server. We just set up a server with Express super quickly. Uh, this part is how we're going to serve uh, client side files like HTML files, client side JavaScript files, and CSS files. So basically it's in this slide here and it says that we're going to put our JavaScripts and our CSS files in a folder called public. So after you write this you're going to want to um, create a folder called public. It's going to have JavaScripts and style sheets in there. And then a views folder which is where what you would think of as um, an HTML file but in our case it's called EJS it plays nice with um, Express but it's an HTML file uh, but the, remember the extension is EJS so um, then we're going to listen uh, this will uh, start the server and it'll listen on port 3000 using this little function here and um, down here this will be our routes 
we'll only have one uh, we'll only route from the root here so we'll say app.get this is the root uh, so then we have a function with request and response and we'll say response is to render chat and it knows to look in views for chat.ejs and uh, so it'll render that so that was kind of a lot in one go so just quickly again node modules was automatically created when we npm installed our modules we created public and we created a file or sorry a folder called javascripts one called style sheets created another folder called views and uh, we created index.js and so far we've written this code in index.js so uh, if you go into views and create a chat.ejs remember it's just a HTML but has the EJS extension if you put like a hello world inside your body tags uh, then you'll be able to go over to your uh, terminal here and write node index.js and you'll get the server listening that we logged and then if you go to uh, localhost 3000 because we told it to listen to on port 3000 uh, you'll be able to load your your hello world or whatever you put in your body here so uh, we're gonna put not a hello world we're gonna put a div with the ID chat container and a text area with the ID chat input um, we're going to, in the head we're going to include uh, this script um, socket dot out it's gonna look for this in your node modules um, so this is sort of the client side of the socket.io script we're going to include jQuery I like to use jQuery it's it's a shorthand notation for JavaScript basically and um, we're going to include our style sheet uh, which is just chat.css at the bottom here we, we have a we have our own client side JavaScript file but we have to put it at the bottom as opposed to the head because you know it references uh, HTML elements that aren't created yet if you put it in the head you have to put it at the bottom after the everything all the HTML elements have loaded so let's start with our uh, so we started with chat.ejs we built our div and our chat input so we've included this uh, link to our CSS file so in public style sheets you know here's here's the uh, the path to it so let's create it chat.css so what I did was I just have our chat container and our input our div and our text area and body what I did to get this going really quick with very minimum style was just a flex box on the body flex direction column align item center and then like they were already in order so this would be the first one this is the second one and I just gave it a height according to the viewport and a width and uh, I gave the chat container a border and I gave them a little bit of a margin I put resize none on the input so I can't be like resized from the bottom corner and that's it very simple um, that's the CSS so now if we look back here um, we have our JavaScript file now we're going to be able to get into making the chat work. We've got everything set up to uh, get our chat functionality going. So here's chat.js, which we uh, included here, right? And it's in our public uh, slash JavaScript slash, slash chat.js. So the first thing we're going to do is say var socket equals a call to the IO function. This is basically just going to initialize socket.io on this uh, on this uh, page, and the IO function comes from this script that we imported. So what we're going to do is say we're going to reference the chat input, which is our text area, and we're going to say when we press the enter key instead of having a send button, we're just going to say when we press the enter key. So this is a way to do that. We have this event dot key code equals 13 that corresponds with the enter key the first thing we're gonna do that like we didn't style it much but one thing that I did want to do is not send uh, empty messages 
Like, I don't want this to be able to send empty messages because that would might be confusing to people. So we're going to say event.preventDefault. First thing, what's the default behavior? The default behavior is when you press enter for it to go to the next line, next line, next line. And we don't want that. Um, so anyways, we're going to prevent that. The next thing we're going to do is say we have this nested if. And we're going to say if the value is not nothing, if it's not empty. Here's the key, socket.init, this is the name of our uh, emit event. We give it a name, can name it anything you like. I named it chat message. And then this is the data that we're passing. We're passing chat input dot value. So whatever you put in here is the value of chat input. Right now it's ASDF, whatever. That's the value. So. We're emitting this to the server from the client because we're in our client side JS file right now. We're calling it chat message, and the data it contains is the contents of this, whatever we wrote, as long as it's not empty, right? Which we which we've sort of defined there. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to empty this. We're gonna set the value of this back to nothing, right? We're just gonna delete everything in there. So um We've em we're emitting this to the server, so let's go to the server side, which uh, and and catch this chat message. So our server side code is defined here. Back on index.js, we have to set this up with with a uh, one little line here. It's I/O. I remember I/O is this, like our, when we required socket.io. I/O dot sockets plural dot on connection this is a keyword you don't get to choose this connection and then the data is a function so function the parameter socket and so that's all the way down to here so this is just for like it means like users that are connected to our server with these web sockets so here's how we're going to catch that this is our setup up here and this is where we're going to catch our chat message that we emitted so socket.on, so when we get chat message at the server, what are we going to do? Uh, we're going to run this function, and the parameter of that function is going to be the message which we passed. So remember we passed it in the emit. We're catching that here, the chat message. Here's the message. It's the parameter to this function. What are we going to do with it? Well one user sent it to the server right and now the server is going to say i got this message send it to everyone in the chat room so we say io dot sockets that's plural dot emit we're going to call it chat message again and we're going to send the message pretty simple it's basically the same thing a little bit different this was socket dot emit because it's our own socket on the client side here. This is io.sockets because we're sending it to everybody. So we're sending the message back. So we emit. We caught with socket.on, now we're emitting uh, with emit. And so what are we going to do? On, back on the client side, socket.on, when we receive this. So you'll notice we use the same name twice. You can emit with this name once and receive with this name once um, if you know what if you see what I mean um, so when we receive this under chat message we're gonna execute a function again the parameter is going to be the message and we're gonna say chat container dot append that message which is a string that's just what it was um, so that's why it's valid to append it and so we're gonna append the message and then we're gonna add this little break tag and that's just gonna like create a new line for us. This guy still has the the older one. So we go test, test two. So like the break is putting the new line in there for us. There we go. Uh, so that's basically it. Just remember, uh, just download your node, uh, npm install your packages, create your index.js, set up your express server, 
set up your little your one route just to localhost 3000 just root no uh, extensions on that and then set up your uh, sockets connection and then you know build your uh, directory structure public and views uh, your chat.ejs is your HTML get your JavaScripts and your style sheets in public and put your container your input don't forget to include all your scripts style it a little bit however you like and then here's your JavaScript file don't forget this don't forget uh, to call this IO function and there you go you can emit anything you can send objects instead of just a single thing you can send an object or whatever and then receive it back again so that's our quick tutorial on a basic uh, chat application that I'm leaving for you to style and augment in any way you want.